Well, thank you. Um, I'm now going to move on to the presentation of the uh, various certificates. Um, firstly, we have our Axel Landman certificate. And there are so many potential candidates for this, people who have contributed enormously to the industry. And we are very pleased. To be able to present this award to this year to Dr. Clive Jackson Moss, who hopefully will be able to. He can probably hear us, and I can see him, but he's not yet beamed onto the main screen. We're just doing it. There we go. <laughs> Um, Clive, would you like to talk about yourself for a few minutes and explain to 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 to, to, to a little bit about your career? But we recognise your contribution to this, the whole industry, and we're pleased to give you this award. I, I did send through a very brief CV. I don't know if it might not be easier to perhaps just read that out. Uh, I, I can also talk a lot once I get started. I never know when to stop. But I think. Uh, Perhaps it might be easier. I'll just summarize it very briefly, and that's it. Maybe easier just to, to read that first. I'll say I have got that. I did, I did receive that, and I did make sure I brought it with me today. Um, so Clive's um, first involvement with the tanning industry was in 1986 when he registered for a PhD and carried out research a degree at the Leather Industries Research Association in South Africa Institute. Sorry. Four years later, he was awarded his PhD degree. Um, an investigation to the use of anaerobic digestion for the treatment of tannery wastewaters. He then did his year of compulsory military service and two years working for the Council of Scientific and Industrial Research and 18 months as a lecturer in biochemistry and microbiology at the University of Port Elizabeth. He then took up a position of the deputy director of the Leather Industries Research Institute. Here he's responsible for developing and marketing an education and training program to the tanning industry in South Africa, as well as carrying out research and supervising postgraduate degrees. He was there for five years, and then he decided to start his own education and training business for the tanning industry. Initially, the business strategy was to travel around the world and carry out training in various tanneries. And for this reason, the new business was called the International School of Tanning Technology, ISTT. However, soon enough after Clive left LR, RI, it closed down, and Clive had the opportunity to buy over the LRI's experimental tannery and their library. And therefore, ISTT's strategy changed from one of running its own training courses within tanneries around the world to one where it had its own experimental tannery. And since 1999, ISTT has run a range of different training courses, ranging from low level entry type courses to higher level diploma and many in factory training courses as well. In that time, Clive has personally trained over 5,000 students. Many of those students went on to run tanneries in, South Af in Southern Africa, and some have gone on to senior technical and management positions in tanneries and chemical supply companies overseas. Clive is a fellow of the SLTC and a member of the American Leather and Chemist Association. His PhD thesis was published in various articles in JALCA, and he's a regular contributor to the s &V African Leather magazine. Um, he's also presented papers at many local and international conferences and been a guest speaker at several of these conferences. Besides leather and tanning, Clive's other great passion in life is sheep and sheep farming. <laughs> he's also think about how much money he's spent on feeding his sheep over the years. He has a great interest in the stock market as well. Um, which he says here, and I'm quoting him, which has probably been even more of a bad investment than his sheep. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, Clive, for sending that through. And it, it, it gives us great pleasure to award this certificate to you in recognition of all those contributions you've made and all those students that have gone on to take part in the industry, both in Southern Africa and around the world. So thank you. And um, please feel free to say a few words yourself. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. Um, you know, obviously there's a committee behind making this decision and I would just like to express my gratitude to that committee 
it is a great honor. Uh, probably the highlight of my career in the tanning industry is receiving this recognition. Um, you know, I had a good look at who the previous recipients of this award were, and um, it's a very prestigious group of people, and I feel very, very lucky to be included in that group. But very often, you know, when an individual gets an award, um, they don't often uh, acknowledge the people behind that award. And um, one thing I would like to point out is that there are many people behind me, uh, but there's one particular person I would like to uh, point out, and that is Carl Flowers. Uh, many of you I know will know Carl. I'm not sure if he's actually in the audience. I didn't actually see his name on the guest list. Okay, well, obviously, some, some people are lucky enough to get a holiday. That's great. But um, when, I, when I came up with the idea of starting ISTT, I approached Carl and I said to him, look, this is what I was interested in doing. And he had no hesitation whatsoever in saying he would like to join me. And uh, he was very instrumental in helping me develop initial training programs. We drove all over Southern Africa. We didn't have money to fly anywhere. And uh, I certainly would like to acknowledge Carl. Um, unfortunately, he didn't stay with me for too many years. I think he decided that emigrating to a first world country was a lot less problematic than living and trying to survive in the perils of living in Africa. Um, but nevertheless, despite Carl having left uh, and gone to, over to the UK, he continued to uh, be involved in ISTT, and uh, uh, he still is our external examiner for all the exams that my students write. And um, I just want to acknowledge that he has played a huge, huge role uh, in ISTT's development. The other person who I've had uh, a fair amount of involvement with uh, since the COVID pandemic is Pat Potter. And I would also just like to mention, Pat, um, yeah, the, the South African Postal Service is a pretty dysfunctional organization, and Pat has to bear the brunt of me continuously asking, where is my latest JSLTC copy? Because uh, it's obviously gone missing in the postal system, and uh, Pat has been gracious in uh, continuing to supply me backup copies that may have gone missing. And uh, Pat, I just want to assure you that uh, I, I'm very grateful uh, for, for what you've done, but please be advised that um, your contribution has not come to an end. I can assure you there's no um, foreseeable end to the dysfunctionality within the postal system. And so I'm going to continue to um, request uh, additional copies of magazines from you. So um, please just bear with me on that one. Um, just uh, finally, uh, just to wrap up, I would just like to say that, you know, I think uh, society such as ours has an important role to play uh, in promoting leather and the tanning industry. We have just prior to the coffee break had the discussion and uh, looking at alternatives to leather. But I think it's very difficult for individuals to actually uh, do what an association or larger bodies can do. And I think this society has a very important role uh, we're, we're an industry that's coming under increasing pressure, both environmentally and from environmental uh, and, and animal rights groups. And I do believe that um, these kind of societies and these kind of forums are very, very, very important for the future. We're all in this industry. We all want to see it survive. We all want to see it thrive. And I do believe that individuals, it's going to be difficult to do that. But as a society and as organizations, uh, it is uh, up to them to look at promoting that brand that is leather. And um, somebody made the comment in the discussion that perhaps we're not doing as much as what we can do to promote the good attributes of leather compared to, say, the, the synthetics or the alternatives. So that is something which I would uh, certainly like to encourage from a society point of view. So once again, thanks very much from my side. I really, really appreciate the award. And, you know, if anybody has any questions, I'm quite happy to answer them. But I know you're probably running a little bit tight on time. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you, Darren. <laughs> and we hope your certificate will survive the um, journey <laughs> through the South African Postal Service. <laughs>